Hello everyone, and a very warm welcome to you all present here today. My name is Chiu, and today I'm with Mr. Alex, as he will be discussing how to build a conversion funnel to improve your sales. If you have any question regarding today's topic, do leave them in the comment section down below, and Mr. Alex will answer them right after he finished presenting. Without further ado, I will pass the mic to Mr. Alex. Okay, thank you, Chiu, for the introductions. Hi, good afternoon. Okay, I can see people start coming in. Okay, welcome, welcome. So I have one more phone on my table here, yeah, just to see how many of you is coming in. Thank you very much for spending this afternoon with all of us here. And I want to make sure that this one hour is going to be worthwhile of your time. So in the meantime, while we doing the uh, while I'm doing the sharing, you can always ask questions. Yeah, just put your questions in the comment box, and we will have about ten to fifteen minutes of a Q and A sessions to answer all your burning questions. All right. So once again, my name is Alex, and I'm been in the digital marketing industry for about seven years now. So my last job was an executive vice president of digital marketing, where I manage a team of four to five groups of people, a young dynamic uh, marketers to help groups of companies to grow, including fundraising events, conference, seminars, webinars, FMB, health and medical, uh, health care industry, medical devices, and so on and so forth. I want to share all the things that I do that works for me and perhaps you can explore some of the tips and recommendations that we've been using. Okay, so currently I have a uh, digital agency that helps specialize in helping B2C companies to improve their marketing and mar marketing performance. Yeah, and I'm also a certified HRD Corp digital marketing trainer, a certified digital marketing professional, and also an NLP coach. Today, our goal is to help you to close the gap on the marketing funnels, right? So how to build a conversion funnel to improve your sales, to improve your inquiries, to improve the numbers of downloads, to improve the numbers of leads so that you can improve the overall marketing campaign without actually spending a lot of money, right? Now, let me go to the next slide. Let me start by sharing what is a sales funnel, okay? So sales funnel is an online term, but if you look at it, actually it's, the, it's just like a sales process, yeah? A series of follow-up process that will bring your potential customer one step closer to your offer. So sales funnel is like a sales process, a series of follow-up process, all right? So the goal of why each company a business will need to create their own sales funnel is to improve their overall conversion to help you save more marketing costs and reduce some of the manual work. Yeah. The problem why sales funnel exists is because um, is to help you to know which part of the funnel that you require your improvement. How does your customer journey, right? gone through online what's the process like that influence their purchase making decision so you can actually predict the steps and then put it in all the elements and the block to make the whole thing even smoother all right 
So if you want to build a funnel, the first thing that we need to do is to understand the customer's journey first. So if you understand how a person walked through from step, step A to the last step of buying things, then it's easier for us to build a funnel strategy. Right. So we, before we start building a funnel, we have to understand the customer online buying journey. So for example, how does your prospect make a purchase decision about your product and services? So different buying stage will require different marketing messages. So let me briefly explain to you what does these stages means. You see, when someone wants to buy things, huh? let's say a, a person wants to buy a essential oil, there's a series of steps that they will need to go through to make the purchase decision, correct? Think about the phone, the iPhone, the Samsung smartphone that you bought, the, that you buy previously. There is a series of steps that you go through in order to get that phone. You won't straight away get the phone once you know that, right? I When I go to shopping mall, when I look at this bottle, I won't show away buy. No, why? There's a, there's a, thing, a lot of things I need to compare, a lot of things I need to do research to influence my decision, right? Generally speaking, there are five stages. There are five stages here. Yeah? <clears throat> so we have awareness stage, we have interest stage, we have consideration, conversion, and retention stage. These are the general five steps of a customer online journey. The first stage is called awareness. Awareness means I don't know about you. I don't know about this brand or product. Then now I know. Okay. So if you can put in a comment and share with us, right? How do you aware that's this product in the first place? Okay. And then how does the, the, the product makes you interested? Then what do you do to actually assess the quality of the product before you buy? Yeah. And then how companies is doing things to increase the retention so that you will buy from them over and over and over again. So understand these five stages is going to help you to plan a better marketing strategies. Remember, uh, awareness, interest, consideration, conversion, retention. So let me give you a case study to do that. Example, let's buy, let's talk about a new phone. This is a Samsung Z4 phone, right? <clears throat> How do you know there's such phone in the first place? How would you know there's actually such a new phone in the first place? Some people will say, oh, from YouTube ads that I saw, from billboards, from cinema before the show is on the trailer, from Facebook you video, from friends, yeah, maybe from my friends, you saw your friend have a uh, Zach Fold phone, right? Then you ask about it. Or from a TV news media. Like for me, I don't know that this thing exists until I saw a uh, uh, a, a NTV7 news channel when they are announcing the, uh, when they are doing the, the, the news, then they have this, uh, they talk about this thing. So that's how I know. So this is called a vanity stage. So once you are aware, oh, there's this smartphone, what's the next step people will usually do? People will start researching, gather information about this phone, right? So how would people do? They'll go online, they'll go to official website, they'll ask more friends whether uh, what, this phone is it good, they will check with uh, their colleague, they will, uh, what else? They will check social media, look at reviews and so on and so forth, correct? Then after that, they might also do what? They might also continue to look at the reviews, they compare the price between the latest phone and the previous model of the phone, brand samsung brand versus apple brand samsung brand versus oppo brand okay and check which one fits better into their budget and their needs true so from don't know now they are aware of this phone then they start researching things online then now they search even deeper compare price compare functions features and so on and so forth so what's next so what will people do usually? After they do all this research, they'll buy, right? So how do they buy? They go to the shop, look at the phone, touch the screen, then talk to the customer service, then they will test it out. Yeah? Some people will buy online, some people will just go to the shop. 
offline and then to test the whole experience. Once they are satisfied only, then they will what? They will buy, correct? So after they buy, what happened? Then they will start experience the phone, then they'll start posting things around. So now, friends who doesn't know, they will also know that, oh, there's this new phone that I just bought. So this is the example of a customer online journey. Think about how they make purchase decision every single step. Okay. Example. So awareness. How do they know that such phone exists? From YouTube ads, from TV show, from friends mentioned, Facebook news, cinema, and so on and so forth. How do they, then what would they do next? They will start, start searching online, discover new features, ask friends, check specs, influencer review. Then they will continue to do even more research, like what's the price comparison, walk into the shop, check the details, warranty, make sure everything is okay. Then they will start buying things, right? They will start to buy. They'll check whether Maxis have this RM1 ringgit phone. True? Then they will look at whether this phone has 0% installment. Then customer service and other packages. Yeah? After that, only they will, what? They will use it. Then they, 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 if they like it, what will they do? They'll continue to share with other people. So it creates even more awareness to their own friends, to their own market. So this is a journey of a person of how they buy things. So once we know, we identify the journey, right? We can start building a funnel, a follow-up sales process that is catered for this group of people. Okay? All right? So remember, every user has a journey before they buy something. Every user has a journey before they buy a product or use their services. What you want to do is to build a proper funnel, we will have to start identifying their step, their journey. Identify your customer's buying journey and start building the funnel accordingly. So funnel is all about testing different offers, test different marketing message, the copies, the images, and the community to help grow a company. Right? So this is all funnels are about. Yeah. Now, to build a good funnel, you have to first build a great offer. To build a good funnel, you have to first build a great offer. It's not just an ordinary offer, but an irresistible one. Have you heard of irresistible offer? Right? And sometimes we call it leak magnet. So how many of you heard about lead magnet? It's a very common term when it comes to marketing. It is a strategy to help you expand your marketing message to the core audience. Last time, if you want to let people know about this new launch product, new these new launch services, you have to do a newspaper for brand awareness. Then you have to, uh, what do you call, distribute flyers and all the stuff, right? So right now, it is the same thing. You uh, go into social media, you tell people you have this new offer, this product, new product, this new launch, and then you don't want them to just buy the core product. You want to give them something to experience first, to attract them to say, yes, I want to come and take a look. So Link Magnet is a very powerful way, critical way for building a funnel later on. Okay, so if you want to build a good funnel, you have to first have a great offer, identify or come up with an offer that makes people say, yes, I would like to know more. And Link Magnet is an inbound marketing strategy. That means you attract people. You don't go and chase people, say, hi, this is my sample, this is my sample, please use, please use. So you don't do that. We throw out this offer, people just come, right? It's called Lead Magnet, Magnet, right? Attraction. What is a Lead Magnet? In simple term, it is an incentive that marketers will use to offer their potential customers in exchange of their information. If you look at the screenshot there, you can see the checklist for productive meetings. So this is one of the classic lead magnet. It's a PDF file that uh, once you enter your email address and your phone, email, oh, sorry, email address and your first name, then you can download this checklist for productive meetings. Understand, huh? So Lean Magnet is to design 
to attract people who, especially people who don't know you, don't understand what you're doing, to let them have a taste and experience of what you have to offer. Okay, it is one of the best way to have you capture the core market and start building like trust and relationship later on. So the purpose of a lead magnet is to help you to capture and qualify potentials, potential customers. It will help you break the ice, acting as a bridge to build connection, likability, and authority with the core audience. It is to allow potential customers to experience our products and services before committing into core products and offers. So the goal of a lead magnet is to build what relationship, trust, and likability before asking them to commit to get their main offer. If you want to buy, oh sorry, if you want to sell something online, five thousand, six thousand, no one will just look at the ads and say yes, I want these five thousand products because it's a high value item. So people will come up with an experienced product like a lead magnet to say, hey, I have these three videos tutorial teaching uh, your children how to score A within two weeks. So then most parents will want, right? Parents will send in their details in order to get that video tutorial or the PDF file. So the more the parents, the more parents download and then the experience, they like it, they will usually what? One more. One more. Say, okay, I like this checklist. What else do you have? What else do you have? So that is where we will offer them the core products. So this is one of the way of how we use lead magnet. I'm going to show you some of the process, an example of a sales funnel and some recommended tools in order to help you build a funnel that doesn't require you do all the manual work every time. A good sales funnel should cover a lot of uh, automation for you. Yeah, we can't really do hundred uh, percent automations, especially for local. Huh? Actually, if you want, you can. But my suggestion is that you should try the hybrid, right? Hybrid process of a sales funnel in order to see a better results. Let's take a look at example. So look at these three things. They could be different formats. The left side is the digital products. How to continue to invest even if you don't have a 90% loan. So this is about property investments. It's a checklist. It's a guide. And I'm going to show you out. I'm going to show it to you for free. If you want this checklist or guide on how to invest, even if you don't have 90% loan, you can always download this for free. The second one is the offline or a preview class. Right? I'm sure you have uh, seen some of these class, two hours class, three hours class. Some even give you one full day workshop training for free. So all these are lead magnet. So the second one is one of the HR consultant funnel that we built for them. So they will host a one full day class on how to retain talent, how to recruit talent, talks about OKR strategies, talks about setting KPIs, talks about uh, how, do you, how do you manage the team and scale your business. So if the person don't know you, then you will need to do this first, right? To, to build relationship, likability. If you can spend one full day with the speaker or the person, then I'm sure some relationship will be what will be uh will be established so that's the goal and look at the right side is the online webinar or workshop right so some people will also give away some of their trainings for free online where you can register and they will show you uh, what do they have to offer a good lead magnet is also a lead magnet that can help you to do what position yourself as an expert Okay, so that's how I grow and I build my business too. You see, in the market, I'm, I'm not a famous guru or speaker, but I always get a lot of engagements and uh, corporate companies coming to me. And not that because I have a brand, it's because I do have, I have a lot of uh, these types of giving lead magnetic services for people. I usually train and I share a lot of digital marketing works for a lot of my friends. 
and for my colleagues and for my clients. So they all know me that I don't keep things in. So that could be also a lead magnet, right? So lead magnet can be many, many different formats. The goal here is to add value to their life, helping them yeah, give a taste of uh, about your products and services, your expertise without, right? Without actually asking them to pay first, right? Let them experience, let them trust your services, your, your brand and your expertise before we ask for a sale. That's a goal of a lead magnet. So you look at this one is for uh, products. Have you seen people give away free watch? You, if you look at the amount, it's zero, right? It's zero USD. So you just have to pay for the shipping cost. So products can be used as a lead magnet. And then you can structure a product. Uh, at the end of the day, you can sell them the strap or other premium brand watch. So the goal here is to attract you to sign up to join my community or a database. The second one is a report. It's a CTS, uh, secret or a CTOS report that we use required by uh, the banks to assess whether you are eligible for loan or not. Okay, so this is another one. Now, the third one is actually the what? The third one is actually the uh, what we call a cafe. So a cafe wants to do what? A cafe wants to invite more people. So if I like to drink a coffee. And I see second cup of coffee for $1. It attracts me, right? I will call my friend. Hey, brother, do you want to come to a cafe? Second cup of coffee, only one. Because we all know that latte on the cafe, how much does it cost? 10 ringgit? 9 ringgit? 11 ringgit? That's, that's the range, right? But if you can get one for free, uh, for, well, for one ringgit for a second cup, then you realize that, oh, this is a deal, a, a no-brainer deal. So this is also a very good lead magnet example to help to drive traffic to the store. So it can be services, it can be products. Both works fine. Let me give you more examples, uh, actual examples that some of uh, some is proven that's working. Eh? So you have free facial during your birthday month. So when your if your facial, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, let's say there's a a uh, facial salon, uh, what do you call it, shop, texted you, say, hey, so-and-so, it's your birthday month and we want to give you this free facial. Yeah, would you like to come? So it's a add value added services. So lead magnet, attract people comes. Then when you build relationship, you discover their needs, then you promote your offers and products. The second one is free blood test report. Have you seen people doing that? Yeah. So there's this medical center, it's called IQ Medical Center. So that's what they do. They invite people, they go to roadshow, they call up people, they say, hi, we are from IQ Medical Center, we are going to give you a free blood test report. Oh, sorry, free blood test with report. So you do the blood test and then immediately within three, two, two hours, you are able to get a report. And then they have a consultant to consult you, talks about... Uh, how is your uh, blood test? Uh, what do you need help with? Or everything. Then in order, then they will only promote you their membership program. Okay. Interesting. Huh? And then the third one is free health check. So free health check, very straightforward. Then fourth, free 50 sets of Kaya butter toast every morning. This is for a new local retail shop. Huh? Usually they will have, they want to let, a lot of people know that, hey, this Kopitiam or this uh, hawker centers just newly open and we want to drive a lot of people. So they will give away 50 sets of Kaya Butter Toast. So remember, uh, when you go, when you do this, right, it's not only attract the person, it will attract the entire family. Then the family will go and share with their friend, friend share with their friend, friend share with their friend. So it will just broadcast to entire neighborhood without you actually doing a lot of distribution of brochure, right? So this is a very good lead magnet to draw people crowd straight to your shops. You have free trial, uh, trial free class. This is very common, right? You have ladies night, free food, free flow drinks. Yeah. 
So then you have hair scalp treatment kit for 28 ringgit. You have ebook checklist templates, free one dish food every month. So this is for restaurants. So every time they want to log in the customer, they say, next time you come, we are going to give you a free dish, free dish, free dish, free dish. Yeah. So this is to attract people to keep coming back to your store. So these, I hope these examples give you some idea on what you can do to improve your existing offer, which then follow up with the core offer. Yeah. So if you want to improve your funnels, different products and different services will require different types of funnels. Depends on what types of products or services do you provide. And then you craft out the customer's online journey. Then you know how is the follow-up process you would like to have and which part can you which part can you automate and which part do you think is the weakest part so that you can fix it. So let me give you some example on, uh, on the sales funnel. Eh? This is Brandon Bershaw. Brandon Bershaw is a world-renowned uh, self-development coach. And what he does to promote his class is he has this book, High Performance Habits, where you can actually get his book for free. Yeah? Like me so i like the book i like books i like to learn i like to grow so i like to get his book the message is this book is hard cover teaching you how to become a high performance high performance in your daily life and at your work and it's free for you so you just cover the shipping cost and you of course you know that shipping cost can cover the book cost right so the goal here is to offer something of high value to people then after that, they funnel to people to their online classes where he teach even more and details about this whole book about. So now you get to know the speaker. You look at the way that he do things, the, 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 the what you call the content. You like it very much. You want to learn more. Then you start uh, see what he has to offer, right? So this is one simple way to do a funnel. Example number two, this is one of the uh, NLP coach that we help them with. So during pandemic, a lot of people has mental mental stress, uh, emotional stress, and we want to do something for these people. What we do is we launch a free webinar class, right? So there's a lot of people come in to listen on the emotional intelligence. How do you manage your stress, anxiety, how to find peace, how to control, how to overcome stress, fear during the pandemic, during lockdown. This happens during lockdown. Yeah, so people come and learn. Then after that, during the during the uh, lockdown, after lockdown, then we invite them to come over to experience live healing sessions offline. Just let them give give them a taste. Of how is it like applying our technique offline? Then after that, they will have a live workshop. So if the person like it, they experience the healing process, they want it to learn more, they want to become a coach, they want to help others, then we will hold a paid live workshop for this group of people. So this is for coaches and consultants. You can do that, right? And one more. Yeah. So this is back to the free watches. Huh? Same thing, you're going to pay for the shipping fee. They are going to give you this very nice watch. And then through different newsletters, they'll show you the latest strap offers and some of the other brands that complement of whatever you have now. This is for e-commerce. Okay. So doing this part, you will be able to showcase to your audience who you are, what you do, build the no like trust foundation. Yeah. It takes time to build trust, true. And it takes time to warm up your core audience. Agree? So how can you do it? How can you do it faster and more efficiently? The goal here is to lead magnet. Then you have lead magnet, you can come up with a series of follow-up process to upsell. Of course, that is the funnel. Now, this is another example. So we last time when we want to do property projects. So we have property education, we have property projects. We want to target people who are interested in property investment, working professionals, business owners, and directors. So every month, every month we will hold a networking dinner. So this networking dinner is to 
is to get people to come in to network at the same time share the topics about property investment then we will hide we, we will invite the speaker to come and give education free training then after that we will funnel them to a workshop and class right one day two days for a few hundred ringgit and then afterwards once these people learn there's two things they can do they can either go and buy themselves invest in themselves or they can uh, work with a team of specialists they just fork out money just invest only also can so there are few ways to do it so how we do it is through networking business we funnel these people who are really interested in in property investments we teach them then if they say they don't have the time to apply then we will show them our projects what are the projects that fulfill the criteria of investment then if you want to join then you just chip in the money example so once you got a property what else do they have the back end you can do property management you can put do renovations everything you can build the funnel just like that so this is one of the things that we do it last time and it works very 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 well yeah not only you help your customers solve every problem almost every problem in every single stage but at the same time you also increase the average order value of your sales All right, there are these two funnel simulation software that I uh, that you can exploit if you have time. You see, last time we want to draw a funnel, we use A4 paper, okay? A4 paper, draw a landing page, draw a thank you page, right? All handwritten. Then after that, there are actually people are started building funnel simulation software to look at the whole thing, the whole funnel uh, in the broad eye view, the bird eye view. So these are the two that you can explore Garo is paid la. Garo is paid uh, Funnelytics is free and paid yeah so you can create a free account and then you test out uh, and then you can start building your funnel from a canvas from a canvas so when you do that then you can see the whole thing so let me show you some example how it looks like yeah? let me show you some example how it looks like this is a lead magnet for our funnel so in a can simulation funnel walkthrough, simulation funnel walkthrough, uh, let's see down. Um, this one is Garu uh, because I have a Garu account. Then this is one of the example. You can do starting from the traffic channel. Yeah, you look at the one, uh, the number one is actually the traffic channel. So we are running Facebook ad example, drive people to the opt-in page, download something. Can be a digital products, right? And then after that, uh, we link them to a content page or thank you page then after that they look at the content they like it they continue to click go to the sales page then after that they will check out and then make payment if they don't buy what's next we will send them a series of email can we see four emails there so we will also automate some of our follow-up process example the first email talks about welcome and thank you for downloading the uh the the, the, the checklist then the second meal talks about uh, uh, the challenges, all right, and how you can actually help them. Then the third email, maybe you can talk about the testimonial about your products or offers. Then fourth email, you can ask them, say, if you like more, you can schedule a call with us or you can just uh, text us, let us know, all right, or buy now also can. So this whole thing can be automated. So once you set up this entire thing, it should be run continuously the only job you need to do after that is to monitor the results so when you build a funnel you realize one thing it takes time to plan it takes effort to build and it will take resources to monitor so sales funnel once you build out you automate the whole thing you integrate the technical part sometimes it may not work yeah so you have to identify which funnel, which steps is not working so that you can start, continue to do it, uh, improve the funnel, right? This is one of the example of call lead magnet funnel. Then we also have a webinar sales funnel. So webinar sales funnel, we did a lot for, uh, for different speakers last time. You have a landing page. And so the first one is the landing page of the webinar page. The person look at the webinar, the copies, they like it, they register. 
they register, go to thank you page, right? Then after that, we will send them a few emails, say, hey, thank you very much for registering this to remind them. Then after that, we will send a series of reminder emails. Five more days to go before we see each other. Two more days to go before the event. Event will be starting in two hours, one hour, live now, join us. Yeah. So you want to create an anticipation. All this can be pre-written, set it up in the CRM autoresponder and make it automated. So once they come, so when during a live webinar, you do whatever you need to do, your, your education, then you can do what? You link them to your sales page. You link them to your sales page. If they don't come over, then there's another webinar replay will be sent to this group of people, right? So this whole flow process is called a funnel. A funnel that I have pre-paid, pre-launched, uh, pre pre-prepared, pre to look at the whole thing, how it's supposed to go. Like I said, when you do a funnel, it takes some time, it takes some effort and patience to monitor and analyze. Huh? So it's not like one time funnel, it will work forever. You will still need uh, people to analyze. So these tools is, uh, is very powerful, can help you to simulate the outcome. There are a few recommended tools to build a funnel. The first one is the landing page tools, like opt-in page, webinar registration page, events invitation page. So you have to have a landing page software, example, click funnels, lead pages, optimized press. These are some of the tools that can help you build beautifully designed landing pages or sales page as part of the funnel. Then the second tools that you require are usually uh, autoresponder, like MailChimp, get response or active campaign. Some people they use Telegram, right? Telegram to, uh, but Telegram you don't have the automation, so it's community based, right? Just like autoresponder. So autoresponder is for email, uh, email marketing site. Then you can capture the data. You can see who opened the emails, who clicked on it. Okay, and how many people subscribe, how many people unsubscribe. So that's the use of the autoresponders or CRM. The third recommended tools to build a funnel is chatbot. Example, mobile monkey, many chat. These are uh these are autopilot chatbot uh, that can help you filter the prospect. And then only you follow up with the strong one, those that you can you think is a strong prospect and you can convert them. Number four is the online payment gateway. You want to make the whole funnel experience uh, a very smooth experience when people are going through this whole thing. So this one is important. Yeah, online payment gateway make people e to make payment easily and simple. Yeah, a good funnel. One more tip is like this: a good funnel is a funnel that can create a very good experience when people right when people go from step a b c d e the whole flow is very smooth yeah so that that this should be the way a highly converting funnels also require a good follow-up process that's where email marketing and chatbot comes in which are the one that i share with you right so you want to prepare a faq to help the customer to make decision for example in the emails you need to know what to send first, what types of content is it about? How do you build, how do you build the anticipation? How do you build the curiosity? How do you build the trust and effort? So example, some of the emails like testimonial, USB benefits about the brand, objection handling, right? If they say, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't need it, example. So how do you overcome all this objection? I'm sure there are a list of FAQ that you come out when you serve your client. So all this FAQ is a hint, it's a tips to help you build a better copies too in your funnel because you already know the real time feedback of the customer, right? Example, you can also talk about the result and try to record how have you helped people and uh, make transformation and change or improve after engaging your products and services. So remember, uh, a highly converting funnels will require a good follow-up process. I hope you are still okay. Yeah. So I have few look at a few questions here. Okay. 
So you can always ask questions and then I will come back to you, right? So whether you are doing it online or offline, you can always set out a good funnel. Yeah. So some people like uh, uh, f and restaurant, how is the funnel like? So you can see, say, right? So one of them is to use the 50 sets of Kaya Butter Toast, drive traffic people, drive people coming in. So that is one way. Then how do you want to create repeat customers? So that is another way, right? So what is a funnel like? Maybe you want to do a membership type or maybe unlimited free flow coffee, unlimited, uh, uh, what do you call, Kaya Butter Toast when you, be, when you top up or when you bring two friends over. So there's a lot of funnel and strategies that you can do. Online, offline, it will still work. Yeah. Now, the next thing that you want to have is to have a proper reporting format. Sorry, I think the slide here uh, a little bit run alignment because I upload the entire slide to StreamYard. I think StreamYard, uh, they, they, they adjusted my alignment. So no worries, you can still see, right? A proper reporting template to track, monitor, and optimize the funnel. So if you can measure it, you can improve it. What you want to do is to prioritize important metrics for your marketing and funnels. You want to spend time to analyze the data, get information and connect the dots so that we can improve. So the right side is uh, just some example uh, of one of our campaign, like what we do, how many vouchers downloaded, how many vouchers redeemed, what is the cost per lead, how much you spend, what is the total sales, what is the cost per acquisition. All this is important to track monitor how well your funnel is improving. It's all about testing, measure it, analyze the data, connect the data so that you can have a better decision making. Sometimes if you ask people, oh, why does this campaign work? Why does this campaign doesn't work? They will say, oh, uh, we feel that Right? They will say, oh, we feel that it's because like that. Oh, we think, we think or we feel. So when you have that words come out, means that the data is not strong enough to justify whatever reason you want to give. You can hypothesize, no problem, because data won't give you result. Data is show you something that, uh, uh, something to look into, right? You can hypothesize, then you can test. Try one round, second round, third round, fourth round. A lot of people, they will have lack uh, they have lack of this part where they don't really have time to actually sit down and reflect and to analyze what happens to all this campaign. Sometimes I have that challenge also because of our work nature, we have a lot of things to do, understandable. I would like to encourage you to spend a bit more time, allocate more time for yourself to monitor and track your performance. The simulation record that I shared with you just now, huh? This one, right? All this can actually simulate. You can simulate how many people come into the ads, how uh, to the landing page from the ads, how many people convert, how many people become sales. You can actually do a simulation to track your profit and loss afterwards. Okay? So it's a very powerful tool to help you to do that. Right? So I hope... Uh, so far is okay for you and if you have any questions you feel free to ask and I can share with you uh, some of the insights that we have learned these are just uh, some simple funnels that you can kickstart sometimes people also use chatbot to build a funnel instead of using email they use chatbot yes no yes no numbers right to, to filter out this group of people so a sales funnel will definitely take time to build because you have to plan you have to think, you have to plan out the customer's journey, you have to do design, you have to do copies, right? So good copies will also help improve the overall conversion of funnel. The copywriting, the anger, the way you talk to the person, the way you write, does it attractive? Is Does it engaging, right? The design, the structure, the flow, all this has to be in place. So it's not just one time, one thing that makes the success of the funnel. It's a lot of variables that have to put thoughts and effort into it. 
Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, questions. Uh. Chu, if you have, if there's any questions, can you please pull that out? Okay, Akila Diana. Hi, Akila. Thank you for spending time here. Uh. Uh, listen to our talk. What is the technique to do cold calling and catch phrase we use to secure sales? What is tech? What is technique to do cold calling and catch phrases we use to secure sales? Uh, I don't do telemarketing, so I can't comment you on, on this whole thing. But if you have questions related to the funnel, then I can actually uh, share with you. Now, technique to do cold calling, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of ways, right? So if if you want to do cold calling before letting them know that you are Call, calling them then is very good. So for example, I have a, I have a few friends who are in property agency line, right? So before they give them a call, they will text these people first. They say, hi, my name is so-and-so, I'm from where and where, and right? So the funnel is they'll send a text message first. WhatsApp these people. Say that uh, we have these things that can help you to do what and what. There's benefit. Da, 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 da. If you are okay, would you? Is, is it okay if I send you more details and give you a call perhaps tomorrow? Da, 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 so that I can explain a little bit more how this whole thing can benefit you. All right. So this is what you can do. You send a, a WhatsApp message before you straight give them a cold calling. Nowadays, people don't really like to take calls because people's time is very precious right so you can whatsapp them first before you give them a call i also heard a lot of uh, business owners share with me they don't really like people should we call them but they prefer people text them first so if they reply okay send it to me then you have a bigger chance yeah so you can try you can try this yeah okay hope that answer your questions yeah now uh chu do you have any next questions what about offline business? Yeah, so uh, Daniel, they, uh, I think I shared just now. So some of them uh, in f &B business, okay? Watches, perfume, so e-commerce, all this can. So the goal here is you want to drive people to the shop, right? You want to drive people to the shop. So one, what you want to do is to think about the offer. What is the front end offer that attracts people coming into you? And then what is the back-end services? What is the package? Maybe you have three, four package, right? Gold, premium, silver. Then you bundle this package, but you have to first attract these people. So it's the same thing. So what is the offer that makes people say, I want, I want to come? Free blood test we report. There's one, right? So we'll go to their, uh, we will go to their medical center that do all this thing for me. Then the consultant will be there talking to you, build relationship with you, ask if you have any history, do you have any concern about health, da, 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 da. then they do free report. Then they do the blood test for you. Then after that, they explain to you. Then they will sell, upsell their entire blood test, uh, medical checkup packages. Okay. So one more thing is uh, like uh, they are bankers. Right, so bankers, how they do is they provide you with free secrets, free CITOS reports, and these people have issue getting loans. So we will say that hey, if you are having issues or getting loans on these things, come to our office. We will do a secrets and CITOS report analyzation for you. We will show you what to do in order to get all this loan documentation done, so you can get your dream home or get your first dream car. Okay. So I hope that answers your questions. If you if if there's more you need help with, do comment yeah, in the comment sections. Then I can explain to you. Okay, Chu, next, Hazik, difference between a sales funnel and a sales pipeline. Uh, a sales pipeline now is similar. Now the main difference sales pipeline is most for sales people use. Okay, so sales pipeline is like lead interested in progress follow up proposals and close something like that so sales pipeline is actually the progress of the a, a process a progress of the lead going into the sales all right a funnel is to is to get people to to close yeah it's a it's a stage where you 
make them interested and then make them consider, make them buy, make them talk about you. So it's different, uh, different. Uh. Sales pipeline is the progress of a lead. It's more for lead reporting. But sales funnel is to generate revenue sales where you put in all the copies, right? Then you build landing page inside it, emails, all those things. Okay. So this is the main difference. Thank you, Hazik, for the questions. All right, next questions. Farid, what are some effective lead managers that you recommend? Now, Farid, if you, if possible, you can share with me some of the, um, what do you call, uh, uh, maybe you can share with me what industry are you at? If I have, if I have came across, then I can share with you. So different lead managers will have different, uh, what do you call, uh, impact. But if you ask me, uh, if you ask me, uh, Lead magnet that can touch, that can that can touch one, uh, uh, those rec those lead magnet will usually have more power, uh, more impact uh, in terms of conversion. Example, example, uh, uh, essential oil, physical products, right? I can touch, I can hold, I can test, I can smell. So the more sensors that you can activate for people, then the better it is, the stronger the lead magnet is. So checklist, PDF file, sometimes they have downside. The downside is even though it's digital product, it's easy, but the downside is people can only see, right? You can't really activate a lot of sensors. Or for example, uh, bottle, right? Some people also sell, let's say facial, have cleanser, toner, moisturizer, all this, right? So some people will pack this up as a sample pack, three, four bottles. So it's for you. The original price is 98. Now you just 20 ringgit, free shipping, everything for you, first trial. So these are lead magnets actually, actually very powerful because the perceiver is super high. Person can touch, can feel, can try. So the more sensors can activate, the more powerful lead magnet you will be. Okay, so I hope that answer your question, yeah? Is there any else, any other questions? Harini, hi, how about automobile, automobile industry? Mm. Automobile industry. Well, if you look at cars, what's the limit? Eh? Test drive, right? So what else can you do to actually uh, to excite people to come in? Now, I don't have automobile industry, unfortunately. So I can't really give you an idea at the, from my head right now. Eh? Um, but the direction is this. You want to make people feel that, um, how do I say, feel that, uh, when they come over, they will feel like, oh, they will learn something. They will get something in return. Yeah, Test drive, of course, a lot of people are doing that already, right? So what else? What else that uh, you can use to attract people to come over to experience the, the car or the bikes that you are selling? So let me share with you one. Uh, maybe the one is not related to automobile. So my friend uh, sell insurance, okay, sell insurance. So how do they attract a crowd of people come to the agency eh, to ask about the insurance thing? So what they do is they don't actually talk about insurance. They have actually do a talk. It's a feng shui talk, you know, feng shui? Feng shui, yeah? So it talks about uh, how do you, uh, the, the 2022, 2023, the year of, uh, what's the year? whether you are lucky or not, right? So what should you do to create wealth? Then after that, they will link it with the insurance. So sometimes the industry don't have to be direct. So you can think of the indirect types of way to attract people come in. Okay, so I'll, I hope I give you some understanding. So my apology because I don't have automobile industry at the moment. If I can think of any, I will let you know, all right? Thank you for the questions. Okay, thank you so much for such an insightful presentation on our topic here today, Mr. Alex. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, no for joining our live session here today, but it's not the end. Mr. Alex will be having his public training on Digital Marketing Masterclass coming 12th and 13th of May. So if you are interested, you may reach out to us via the email and contact number provided be down below. Also, please like our Facebook page if you enjoyed today's session 
and follow us for future live session. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. Everyone, we hope to see you soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye. Chill, chill. I think there's yeah. one more uh, question uh, from Akila. There's a book. Yeah, Akila, if you are still here, um, cold calling technique, there's a lot of books. The one that I like, uh, that one that I especially like is this author called Tom Hopkins. Tom Hopkins. Okay. The second one is Brian Tracy. Tom Hopkins, Brian Tracy. So they talks about uh, how do you do opening? What's the flow to speak? Right on the cold call. Now cold call, I know it's not an easy industry, yeah. Because last time I do a lot of cold call too. Um, so you can perhaps explore the strategies that I share with you. Okay, you write a nice copies, then you can build relationship first. So sometimes, uh, uh, since since you are asking this, right? I learned about this thing called natural selling. I'm not sure if you heard of this. You can look it up. Natural selling. No, so natural selling means uh, you don't want to be a hard sell person. You don't want to be a hard self. You don't no one likes to being hard push. So if you build a funnel that you ask people, hey, buy my stuff in the first place, then it won't work. See, why funnel it works is because you say, I don't ask you to buy my stuff. I just want to give you something to enjoy, to experience. So the first goal is always the same. You want to get people feel comfortable with you first. So how can you make the person being comfortable with you? That's the first thing. Not to say, hi, I have this product, buy. So no one would walk like that. Okay. And then go back to the five stages that I share with you, the customer online journey. How would a people come to your shop? What makes them come to the shop? There must be a reason, right? So awareness. Then what makes them want to explore this thing, right? This product service you have. There must be a reason. So you go through the customer online buying journey. I will assure you know what kind of lead magnet you will uh, you come out with. So your lead magnet is to use this lead magnet uh, as a problem, as a solution to their problem. Okay. If I'm selling supplement, I know there's a problem that person needs. So I need to come up with a lead magnet to address this problem. So using that as a way to build funnel can help you to capture these people without actually uh without actually what you call pushing them away so instead you are attracting them okay so i hope i give you some insights and learning yeah thank you very much for your time everyone uh i know it's not a it's not a long time but i hope i see you in class next time yeah you can talk to chill and excel academy they do a good job organizing it I wish you all the best and Salamat Hari Raya for to all of you, okay? And happy holidays. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate that. See you next time. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Alex. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.